Hello and welcome to CIA. My name is Mank and in this video I will show you all the ways you can basically import the contacts in Motic. So uh, as you might already know that there are two ways uh, which are obvious and uh, provided under the contact section which is quick add. Uh, this allows you to quickly create a contact uh, with very few number of fields and then we have add uh, button which lets you add all the information about the contact and uh, it provides all the fields which are already available there. These are the two basic ways to create the contact but my main focus in this video is to uh, import the contact. So as you can see we have uh, options here for import. So I will click on the import and here you get the option to upload a CSV file. So what I've done is in the Google sheet, I have created a, a dummy contact sheet and I'm just going to download it as a CSV. Okay, so here we have only 20 contacts. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a segment. And save. Uh, now I will go back to the contacts and import. So browse and I will choose the sheet and upload. Here what you, you get an option to choose who is the owner of these contacts. In the segment you can choose in which segment you want to import. You can assign some tag to these uh, contacts which are imported. Then you get a field mapping uh, table. Here as you can see each of the field which was available uh, I have created the names like this so they are exactly matching so Motic is smartly uh, uh, mapping them. So, but if your field name are not exactly matching Motic will uh, provide you the option and uh, from the drop down you can choose which field to map. Right, so country goes into country, email goes into email, similarly first name, last name, phone and website. There are two options uh, how you can do it. So one is import in browser and second is import in background. So basically what I do personally is if the contact uh, import file is large like uh, more than 500 contacts then I don't uh, import in the browser but if it is small then I prefer to import in the browser. So the only difference is that uh, if you are not importing in the browser you need to set a cron job. First let's go and import in the browser. So I'm clicking on import in the browser and as you can see all the contacts uh, they are here. So what will happen if in case let's say uh, there, is, there is some uh, contact which has the same email like the previous one. So it will not create a new one but merge them. As you can see all the contacts have been created and their uh, uh, respective emails and so on. So let me go and check the segment. So in the segments you can see we have these 19 contacts. So uh, this is only about you know uh, how you can uh, do the direct import but now let me go uh, go ahead and show you how to work in the uh, background import as well. So for background email uh, we actually need more contacts so let me create let's say uh, I will create 150 or something contacts. Alright, so uh, now we have uh, more than 150 contacts. So uh, again, I'm going to go on and download the CSV file. So CSV file, save. Let's go back to Motic and again go back to import, browse, new CSV file, upload and owner in the segment 100 plus contacts and again uh, everything else is mapped but in this case I am going to click import in background right so uh, what happens here is uh, as you can see in the history of the imports that uh, you see this was imported this was imported but this is still pending so right now currently progress is zero because I have not set the cron job for import so what we need to do is we need to go and execute the cron job for import so let's go and uh, go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I'm in my command line and uh, in the command line what we need to do is we need to execute the cron job for import. So I'm going to do this. Right, so let's go ahead and run Motic import. Okay, so 
okay so when i run it with the help uh, option it is telling me what are the uh, what is the uses of this command and what are the options that are available in this case what i'm going to do i'm just going to run it now without uh, any of this option so when i go and do Motic update so as you can see the total number is 156 in our import file and right now it is just processing the import if we now go back to our Motic and refresh this page we will see that everything is completed first 19 contacts that we used in the 100 plus sheet was also among the uh, that we uh, previously imported so as you can see uh, 19 contacts were imported and uh, 137 were newly created and if you want we can go back to the segment and see that all the contacts are imported here and there is one more information that uh, you should know in the configuration if in the configuration you go to contact setting there is a option for uh, import setting as well so in this case what it is t uh, telling you is that if uh, you can set the number of contacts here for example if I set here 200 so if there are more contact in your CSV file than 200 then uh, the process will automatically go in the background so if you set it to 0 then what will happen is uh, it will not send uh, the process in the background automatically and of course uh, for if, if you have more contacts like uh, uh, 1000 contact or 2000 or 10,000 contacts then uh, what you can do is you can always set the cron job and in the cron job you can also specify the limit uh, of the you know number of the records that you can process at one time so in this case for example the limit was uh, set default to zero so that is why it processed all of them so in this case for example if i want to set the limit then what i can do is i can uh, just set like this uh, l and 20 so it will only import 20 items right if i set it to uh, let's say 40 so in one go in one execution of the cron it will only import the 40 items and uh, you can see this progress in the backend of motic as well for example this as you can see uh, this is delayed and right now only 60 contact has been processed the rest of the contacts are not yet processed if you find this video informative, please like the video, consider subscribing. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.